the school and answer any questions at a meeting at 7. A little post office with a whole new look ahead at 530. After being closed for 13 months, a new town post office has reopened. We'll take you inside. A Wallingford family falls victim to a violent. Residents fought for their post office to reopen. It took 13 months, but their fight is finally over. We'll take you to the grand opening in Newtown. I'm the post office in Newtown was demolished more than a year ago, but area residents fought for a new one and against all odds, they won. NBC Connecticut's Jeff Stecker has more. Given the hard financial times for the United States Postal Service, it's not every day that you see a brand new post office opening in stores, and it's certainly not every day that you see a party for that post office when it opens up. But then when you talk to the people here at this postal party, they'll tell you to do things just a little differently here in Hollyville. Phil Edelstein was first in line, parcels in hand, poster hanging on the wall that he made to mark this occasion. These people are like family. I know them intimately. In fact, I bought them a big bottle of champagne, which they have hidden in the back, but you're not getting any. It's for them. Raise her up. He was right, which is fine, because it's their celebration. This is what happens when a small town won't take no for an answer. A brand new post office, but it didn't come without a fight. This is the old Hollyville post office. It closed on Valentine's Day of last year. It was old, not up to code, and an easy choice for the Postal Service to close and to save money, not to reopen. But people in Hollyville have always felt a little differently about their post office. We all live here, and this is like one of the few places in Hollyville that actually people can come to and congregate. There was no center here, and you'd run into everybody in Hollyville. It's about people, and it's about a place, and it's about the joy that's provided in an ordinary day. Hollyville Postmaster Mark Favalli still can't believe how hard these people pushed, and in an era where the Postal Service is downsizing, that this day would ever come. The community had such an outpouring of support that you don't see very often anymore, and that uh, that they showed up and came back and just kept on coming back. They were like bulldogs. People in Hollyville say this post office isn't as much about the parcels that pass through it as it is about the people that gather here every day with a high neighbor, a friendly smile, and a sense of community. It was just the will of the people against government. And this is a true test of democracy. Couldn't be any better. In Hollywood, Jeff Stecker, NBC Connecticut News. Municipal leaders are calling on the state to allow them to impose local.